fall camp here? It felt good to get the pads back on today. Um, you know, it's always exciting. You got a lot of new faces, right? I mean, we got a lot of different pieces than we had this spring. And so it's kind of for as a coach, you get to see two, two different things there pretty early. You get to see your new guys, you get to see the older guys that have been through it a little bit now with this through uh, spring and summer. They know what to expect. And so, you know, just seeing that initial growth, I think, by those guys is, is positive. Um, you know, and then seeing some of these new pieces that we have in, seeing them flash here early, you know, I think is a good sign. We got a long ways to go, but it's good to see those guys, you know, show something early on. There were a couple big plays on offense and the portion we got to see. Does it kind of feel like those guys are settling in a little bit to you? The skill guys? Mm -hmm. Just all of them? The overall, like 11-on-11, 11 11, like the touchdown pass, that run at the end with the third team. Yeah, I mean, just some of those older guys. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, they've, they've kind of gone through it now a little bit with us, and they truly – we're kind of learning the, learning the nuances of what we're after and what we're we're trying to uh, accomplish. So, yeah, it's good to see some of that. I mean, we're getting challenged over there every day defensively by uh, Gillespie and his staff. They're doing a great job. We got some really good players over there. So, you know, they're challenging us early on too. But the, the install's done. So, is it now tweaking, or are those new guys still? No, it's all still learning. Yeah, I mean, very early on in fall camp, we're back to install. It's very okay. base here early on and. And we just got to get comfortable with what we're doing, and then you can kind of build from there. So, yeah, this is still kind of bare bones right now with us. So, with, with, with another week of, of bare bones, and then, it, or does it gradually build like every day? Yeah, it's going to gradually build. You always kind of come back to, you know, to what you feel like you're going to be and your identity. So that's what we're still trying to chip away too as coaches. You got to identify that, and and we're going to do what we do. You know, at the end of the day, that's that's kind of what we're about. We put a premium on execution <laughs> at the end of the day, and. There's going to be a time to be creative and scheme and all that stuff, but we got to get really good at what we do. Speaking of execution, what's your assessment of the quarterbacks right now through the first three days? So positive things. You know, I mean, some positive things. I think we're doing a nice job early on of just distributing the football. I mean, we got a lot of different guys touching the ball right now, which is positive. Um, you know, and for the most part, we've, we've kept the ball away from the defense, which is always tough to do versus, uh, you know, Coach Gillespie and his crew and that side of the football. So, that, that's that kind of the initial thoughts early on. We still got a long ways to go there. We still got a nice competition going on and, and uh, several guys getting reps. So the good thing about that room right now is there's several, you know, really good players. Um, and they can kind of take something away from each guy, you know, and I think that's the positive thing for me as a coach. I'm kind of lucky and fortunate that those guys actually are learning from one another. You know what I mean? And they're excited about that. And so that's, uh, that's like I said, been very fortunate for me. I know you're not ever really satisfied, but were you pleasantly surprised with the operation, like from day one, um, in the carryover from the spring and throughout the season? You know, that's always the hope. You know, you want to pick up where you left off, right? And so, I thought in that sense we did. You know, day one was was pretty good in terms of just discipline and focus and just kind of being in the right spots for the most part. That was a good sign early on that. You know, I think just as a program, as us offensively, you didn't steer away too much in the summer as these guys are still continuing to train and learn this stuff, that all of a sudden we're not throwing something new at them. They're just still continuing to chip away. And I think that kind of progression, you know, kind of showed early on those first couple of days. Seems like you guys have pretty good depth really across the entire offense. Is there one position group that you kind of feel really good about already? Yeah, we just got, like I said, I mean, you know, pretty fortunate situation. You got a lot of guys that have played a lot of ball that are returning, you know, at different positions. And so, I think the biggest thing is always the key is is we have some older guys and some continuity up front. All right, it starts there. We have got some uh, experience, obviously, at the quarterback position. So anytime you have that, you can kind of build off of that. But you know, I think probably the O line um, would be the one that stands out. In our limited time to watch you guys go through team, it looks like Sam might be a little bit more comfortable in the pocket. Is that something that you're seeing compared to what he was in spring? Yeah, I mean, early on you can see that compared to spring. Um, you know, and he's a young quarterback. He's still continuing to learn what to do with the football and learn reads and things of that nature and just be comfortable and confident enough to stay in there, right? Um, you know, I think that's the other part of it. And he's just naturally chipping away at that. And so just physically and, and mentally, I think he's, uh, he's coming, he's coming he's around. He's never been hit by growing us men to get hit. It's a little different. Yeah, yeah no, it's a little different. Um, yeah, and so, you know, what that develops, um, you know, there's a lot of things that, that obviously develops, but I think just the trust in what you're doing and, and understanding that you still got a job to do and you can't lose sight of that, right? So it kind of always comes back to focus for us. And so that was the big thing for our guys today is just we got to keep a tremendous amount of focus 
all of a sudden, just because you can't get hit, we've got to emphasize ball security and just all these day one things. That's what you got to rely on. And I thought we did a decent job of that today, just, you know, seeing it in practice. How hard is it for you as a as a play caller when you have weapons like Quentin, you've got <laughs> other outside receivers like Quincy and Savion, speed at the slot, just trying to get these guys the ball? Yeah, I mean, you're always going to go into it just trying to get your, your best players the ball, okay? And so there's going to be times where – it's going to be by design. There's no question, but there's the other part we feel like, um, you know, is a good thing for us and that we have a lot of confidence in. It's just based on what we do, there's going to be opportunities for everybody. There's going to be opportunities for a lot of distribution, like I talked about earlier. And so, you know, you've got to give the quarterback a lot of options. All right. And then we're, we're kind of in a spot right now where we feel like we've got some guys around the people you mentioned um, that can provide for us and be productive. That's good.